three. And in this segment, we're going to show the operations how to actually drive the tractor once you insert it into the pipe. Once you insert it into the pipe, make sure you have cable protection so it doesn't rip the cable up on your inverter or your pipe. That's done with a tiger tail or by a roller. Um, to lift it into the hole, uh, the rope that we gave you, there should be a little lifting device that allows you to put straps on it and lift it down into the hole. Uh, I don't know if that's an accessory you did not buy, but we can check into that and uh, we can purchase that. At this time, there's um, three ways to operate the, the camera and the tracker. By the membrane right here, if we want to rotate the head, we can rotate it, just like so. set the head, if you hit both of them simultaneously at the same time, it sets the head up going straight. You need to do that before you even start actually. So you can run it by the membrane, by the keyboard, or by the pendant controller. This pendant controller is much simpler. If you run it by the keyboard, there is a menu by hitting Shift F2. There's a menu in there, you can look at that, and go with Shift F2. This is all the codes from the keyboard, which we can pan and tilt, focus, uh, iris, rotating camera, and zooming in, zooming out, all from the keyboard. So again, we've got three ways. The membrane on the controller, the keyboard, or the pinna controller. I suggest the pinna controller. So we're going to escape out of this menu. On the pinnet controller, if you hit the red button, hold it, and all your lights will illuminate. It will actually say on the screen, pinnet controller. At this time, when you're using the pinnet controller, uh, you can't start recording or anything. So you have to do that before you get to the pinnet controller. Once it's in the hole, we have a joystick. We want to go forward. Press forward and make sure the green light comes on. Plus you get a speed bar indicating that you're going forward. The same with the reverse. The reverse the same way. When you do that in auto position, they actually will sync up with the, the, uh, the drum. You could also put this in manual and it will come back. But you, you'll get a hazard notice saying that Hey, you're going to run over your cable. That's in manual only. To turn, take the joystick left, and you press down to stop it. Go to the right, press directly down to stop it again. Again, you, the direction you're going, you press it that direction, stop it, press down, go that direction, press down. You can do also, you can also do the stop button. That will also stop it too. The same when you're going forward, you can stop it. All right. Next section is the camera operations. You got lights. You can eliminate, turn the lights off. You can dim, dim them all the way down, so forth. You could uh, rotate the camera left, right. Now with this, just hitting the button, letting it go, it will actually stop. Opposed to where you have to double. Uh, to press the buttons on the membrane in order for it to stop. This is much easier. And then you got the uh, pan and tail. Okay. Now this camera does have a zoom function. You want to zoom in on something. Also, we could uh, zoom in. There you go. As it's zooming, it will actually focus for you. Let's look at the uh, state there. There we go. Your zoom is only as good as your light. All right. That's the state of Texas. 
for you people from uh, Texas and uh, California, right over here, and we are located in LA, Palm Springs. So that's your zoom function, your rotating, and pan. Also, you have focus. This does auto focus, but you can override it and focus it yourself if you choose to be that way. You've got your lights, iris. You now, the iris selection, make sure it's in auto. You can override the auto by these two circles. To close the iris, open the iris. But if you leave it in auto, it will auto uh, adjust to the lighting that you're using. One more function up here is the SON. If you've got a locator, there is a SON located in here with four frequencies. By selecting the select button, the little amber light, it indicates that 512 to, in, to, in to uh, engage it. Make sure that light is on. Now 512 is radiating out of the unit. You can also select other uh, positioning. Make sure you turn on the on switch for the sun if you're going between different uh, frequencies, all the way up to the other frequencies. And again, they're on. So this is your sign. You can do you do on a whim, anytime, anywhere. Again, up here is your drum, your tractor controls, your camera controls, all on the pinning controller. I suggest this is the way to go. When you're done, just turn it off. And uh, to turn off the unit, shut it off like this. And uh, then when you, that's after you brought the tractor back to the uh, manhole you entered from. All right. Thank you.